ball. How do we end up on the ground? I don't know, but uh, it's it's not clickbait, you guys. I I'm I'm quitting. Everything? I don't need any chips or anything. Copy that. Okay, well, I guess Justy got everything. I was stopping in the grocery store because I'm on my way up North Shore right now to meet up with Jamie. It's true, you guys. I, uh, I quit. I don't feel super good about it, but I have my reasons. Before we get into the details of why I quit, that is, is Jamie's new boat. My new boat, welcome aboard. Yes. And today we're going fishing on Jamie's new boat to celebrate my mighty send off. Hopefully we catch a fish so that later we can barbecue. The guy, dude. What's up, Lukey? What are we doing today, are we fishing? We're fishing. Yeah, we've been out here for a good minute. Still nothing on a fish, but uh, this could be our opportunity. Jamie, you think you're good? I think we're good. I think we're gonna try and catch some of them. Oh, go front, Jackson. Oh, go climb, up, just climb up, climb up. Climb up. Oh my God, we got oh. dolphins, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Baby, baby, we seen some fish. Yeah, we've seen some fish, but we haven't caught anything. Fast forward seven hours about, or at least it feels like, and we are still unhooked. We're calling it a wrap. Jamie and Justy reeling in the lines. Yeah, wrapping it up, heading in. What? No reel, no fuck. No line. No lure. Oh. No lure here either. What? Maybe those weird serpent fish stole all our lures. It had to be. How did we lose? $60 worth of lures How and not even get a strike. Who's tying these knots? That's actually really strange. Heading into the beach, we'll, we'll talk about this in a bit. But We're gonna just go buy a steak and barbecue it. Okay, Jim. Nice to meet you, bro. Always a pleasure. I'll see you around, right? I'll see you at the barbecue, dude. It okay, ain't good not leaving yet. that fast, huh? Not yet, yeah, not I'll see yet. you there. Bye, Justy. Dude, dude, come on, dude. Don't do this to me, dude. I'm not leaving, leaving. I'll see you at the barbecue. Okay, dude. Damn, you freaked me out like that, dude. Come yeah, on. Don't worry. I'll see you in a little. I am worried. Oh. I'm worried. Good days, brother. Good days. Let's go shred some waves. Always. <laughs> We got Justy. Justy Graham in the shed of all sheds. We're infiltrating Boss Man's base right now. Gonna steal a, uh, a beach day tent. Go set it up on the beach. Just have the perfect beach day. It's so sunny, waves look fun. We got the girls, the boys, everyone. Pass it. Okay, we got it. Ooh, I think we're gonna get any barrels, Justy. Mm, maybe. I think, I think there's doesn't vision. Doesn't look too hollow out there, but. Doesn't look super hollow, looks really rippable. Knee's still bothering me a bit, but I think I'm cleared to surf. Just not gonna do too nuts turns. Gonna just cruise them. But hey, we're gonna have a fun time. It's definitely hot and dreamy out here. Look at this. So blue. Oh! Yeah! Look at the waves! That left, full barrel vision. We'll leave that there, surf now, tent, tent later. Yeah. What's up? How you doing, brother? You did a great job, man. Thank you. Yeah, bro. Jackson, good to meet yeah, you. Jackson, right on. Hope you watch all your stuff, dude. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. All right, I'm riding the twin fin today. It's gonna be fun. It's perfect twin fin weather. Hopefully we get some barrel action. I'm in the drift line per usual. Check these guys out. Favorite board shorts in the game, no doubt. Justy's on. Go, dude. Bingo. Son had a reload that, daddy gone, but his legacy strong. How do you 
figure I too thought I'd be dead, all things considered But I'm living, thriving and growing Fighting opponents, instead I'm with it Striving to know who died for the lowest Don't you get it? The industry hopers try to control us I ain't with it I got me a goal that's highly explosive With my wife and my baby What I'm writing is weighty Call me Esso or Bevenberg They nighting me lately Stand where the light is Feeling like it, delighted And maybe I'm getting grown Nothing wrong with Bible and Baileys I open up the text Got my mind closer off the edge Goes the wrong architect I ain't gotta go to your connect I gotta go direct Him and I through the sun up I say him and I are blessed up rest up in the right perspective. Oh my friends, this is interesting. So we finished up fishing. We finished up an epic sneak attack surf and now we're at Jamie O'Brien's house. Sad, sad day, saying bye to Justin, saying bye to Alex, saying bye to Jacob, Jamie, Tina, Sally, hopefully Sally's here, everyone. It's bittersweet, but hey. Epic day today, and no better way to end it than a barbecue with my good, good friends. Can't wait to see these guys again, but for now, this is our mighty send-off BBQ. So, going to capture this, and then I'm going to explain more about what exactly I've got planned for my future. They head out for California tomorrow, so that's why we're saying goodbye early. I still have some time in Hawaii before I move back to Hood. But hey, wrapping things up, barbecue going down. Jam! Jackson, what's going on, brother? We have like the same vlog, dude. I know, but this is like the first time we've ever collab. You just have to accept it. It's a collab going down, but it's all good. We're just making some dinner right now. We got some steaks, we got some burgers, some Beyond sausages, and some Beyond burgers. We got a bunch of Beyond stuff because we didn't catch a fish, so yeah, we, we just didn't. we're just cooking meat, slapping them on the grill, and we're just gonna grind. It's gonna be a good time. We gotta do the mighty send off. It's a sad, sad day to leave everybody. We got. Lucas and Sally and Justin and Tina, the whole crew here. Mick goes downstairs. Yeah, um, bittersweet for sure, but um, a lot of good memories with this guy and uh, wrapping it up with a mighty barbecue. You can imagine the barrel you would have got this summer if you would have just decided to hang out with us and not go home. Oh, dude, that, that hurts. Where would you have taken me? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm gonna miss you so much. This is hard. Me and Justy work together from the ski.com dream job and he's gone. Going at the hip for like a year and a half. Oh god. I'm living in his parents' basement without him. That's weird. Lucas, one of my tightest homies I've made out here. Luke, he's the man. No, it's only awkward if you make it awkward, actually. You're still you're still hugging me. Goodbyes to all of the crew. They're clammy, I'm sorry. I just it's hot, I'm all nervous, I'm saying goodbye uh, for the first time. It's not goodbye. The last friend. It's uh, it's see you later. It's see you later, that's the words I've been looking for. It's mm -hmm. see you later. Mm -hmm. Follow A. Gorm. <laughs> I'll link his Instagram right here. I will miss you, brother. In the meantime, um, you fix those clammy hands. I, everyone's told me that, I know. I'm nervous, I'm it's saying uh, goodbye. It's, it's authentic. Here you go. Oh, how do we end up on the ground? I don't know, but uh, it's it's not clickbait, you guys. I I'm I'm quitting. Uh, Jamie, thank you for he, everything. He quit. I quit. No, he didn't quit. He, he told me like like one day ago. That sounds really dramatic, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, quitting. No, parting our ways for now. Yes, we had an epic barbecue. We had an epic day on the boat. We didn't catch anything, but it's all good. My time here has come to an end. Uh, Jamie's leaving. He's going to California, and I, uh, I, I have to say my goodbyes now. A little early. I'm still in Hawaii. I still got some time here. But Jamie, you're the man. Do you want to say anything to the vlog? Yeah. Um, <coughs> if you're an editor out there, and you're a better editor than Jackson, um, just jobbvlogs.jobs. Just send us a message. <laughs> <laughs> Send him a message. Do it. He needs somebody. Get his clip. He, he's yeah. the man. You're going to love working We're for him. actually looking for somebody. So any help would be amazing. If not, it's all good. It's been a good ride hanging out, surfing with you, and sharing good times. Uh, the reason why I quit is because you don't want to get a big barrel this summer. It's true. I'm, I'm terrified. He's already put me in too many <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Jamie, thank you. 
This is how you want to end it? You're on the ground? Uh, like no, Jackson I'm not ending it. I gotta style. tell people what's going on. So we're just gonna teleport back, but this is goodbye for Jamie. I'll put the link in the description if you want to sign up for the job. You won't regret working for this guy. That was one of the craziest Ooh. rides of my life. Mahalos! Okay, now I finally have the chance to do some explaining. I understand you all probably want to know why I quit. You understand that I quit, but you're probably asking yourself why I quit. Well, it's certainly not an easy answer. And it's certainly hard to think that I'm leaving a dream job to chase yet another dream. It's one of those situations where I'm asking myself, is the grass always greener? I don't know. But if there's any methodology that I feel I owe all of my success to counting back my filmmaking career and leading me to where I am today, it's the idea of non-resistance. And I believe in it so much that I have it stamped onto my wrist permanently. It's the idea to never turn down opportunities as they come, go with the flow, and just keep swimming. Granted, you wanna weigh out pros and cons, but when an opportunity's good and it comes, at least has came my way, I've done nothing but say yes. And it's led me to everything I could ever want in life and I find myself in yet another position where I'm saying yes and leaving one dream to chase another. But it's very interesting because although I've had all these successes and dreams that I've always wanted to accomplish and I've seen them come true. I have always left one dream to chase another because as you chase your dreams and you those dreams turn into a reality, that reality all of a sudden becomes your normal and then you move on to the next dream, which is exactly the position I'm in now. Don't get me wrong, filming for Jamie O'Brien, living beachfront in Hawaii and traveling the world is nothing that I will never feel is the norm. And I'm incredibly grateful for the job I had and for my time here. But what I'm trying to say is that I accomplished this dream, I lived the dream, and now I want the next thing. And the opportunity for the next thing has arised and I will never hesitate to pass that up. You see, for those of you that know me through my chapter series, personally, family, friends, longtime fans, you will know that I'm an incredible advocate for my hometown, Hood River. I'm very passionate about the place, especially in the summer months. It's an action sports mecca, and I believe I've grown up around some of the most talented individuals in the world. My childhood friend group is one of the most incredible environments I've ever been surrounded by. We've got a group of like 20 male and female athletes that are all incredible at the different sports that they do and everyone has gone off in their careers to chase their own passions and endeavors. I've had my friend Sean Fitzsimons become one of the US team snowboard members and compete alongside the world's best as a US freestyle snowboarder. I've had one of my other childhood friends, Kale Brown, blow up on TikTok and have around 4 million followers for his hilarious dance moves. We've got Caden and Will who are professional level kiters among so many others and the list goes on on and on. Ever since I've known these guys, especially in high school, we've had the dream of creating a webisode series around our life. The Hood River lifestyle, the way that we live, the various action sports that we're able to do every single day and the high level that we perform at these action sports. We've been inspired by people like Jamie O'Brien to create an, a webisode series that documents our life and our friend group and captures the way we see the world through positivity, optimism, and living life to its fullest every single day. And this year it seems the stars have aligned for everyone with Kale finding his success through TikTok, Sean accomplishing his goals, Caden, Will, all the boys doing the different things that they do and everyone's kind of graduating college and has this year to be able to commit to the dream we've always had of creating that webisode series. So, starting June 2021, myself alongside my incredibly talented friend group is releasing its first ever episode of a joint YouTube channel known as The Sickos. We're incredibly excited to get this thing underway. As I said, it's been a dream of ours since forever, and it's so rad to see everyone come into their own and really wanna combine forces this year and try and make this thing happen. So to finish it off, the reason why I left Jamie was because I have an opportunity that I've always dreamed of, and I'm leaving some really green grass to go try and chase something that's potentially greener. It might work, it might not, but I'm all about taking the risk and I've so far found nothing but rewards by living that way. 
I don't wanna to dive too deep into what exactly we're doing yet, but I will say that through all the knowledge and expertise that I've learned through Jamie and the YouTube creators I've been around because of Jamie, I have a lot of thanks towards him and for everything he's taught me on this incredible two year ride that I had with him. I'm super excited to get this Sickos project underway and like I said, it will be releasing June 2021. You can follow the Instagram handle at Sickos to stay updated on when we're gonna be releasing and subscribe to the YouTube channel at The Sickos. I'll have both of those linked in the description below. I appreciate each and every one of your support. I'm so sorry to be leaving Jamie. I have nothing but love for the entire J-O-B family. I have nothing but love for that entire experience and incredible ride that I just had. I'll never forget it. It was one of the biggest milestones in my career and um, something I'm incredibly grateful to have achieved. And um, I, I've, I'm speechless when I start thinking about it. To be known as one of Jamie O'Brien's filmers is something that I will always cherish deep into my heart. So ending it off there, please go ahead, subscribe to The Sickos, stay tuned on what I've got going on. I won't be stopping releasing content every single Friday on this channel, but we've got a lot more coming through the project plan this summer. Thank you so much for your continued support, and as always, I will see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.